Hey guys, I'm very excited to announce my new course, Discovering Back in Bottlenecks, Unlocking Peak Performance. Uh, this course is something I wished I had, uh, you know, when I first had my, when I was like advancing my career, like an in, intermediate in my career, you know, I would, I would like to have that maybe 10 years ago. You know, I started my career around 20 years ago and it's a little bit of an intermediate to advanced course where after I know programming, I know how to set up thing. I have to set up a database. I have to, I know how to build a back end, a front end. I have a stack running, but I have absolutely no idea how to find out where the bottlenecks causing the performance degradations are you know because where do you start there are many 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 ways to identify and pinpoint these problems in your, in your backend so based on that experience i compiled some sort of a tiered analysis to kind of as a as a path to identify bottlenecks and backend applications so it's an extremely practical uh course unlike the other courses where it focuses on more the fundamentals this course focuses on a practical path to define where the problems are. So the first tier is basically tier one analysis where I use tools such as DevTools or curl or things that are front endy that to identify how we are communicating with, uh, with the backend. Postman is another great example, right? And this tool will allow you exactly as a first line of defense to find out what is, what call, what methods are causing this problem. Are we being chatty? Is, it a, is there a single call that is causing the problem? So that is, we're going to go dive deep into details. And how to identify that, I break down that even into smaller segments. Because you see, when you send a request, there is so much to this. You know, it's not just sending a request. There is socket programming. So I dive deep into that. There is the connection establishment. There is the TLS establishment. And there's the client writing to the socket, writing the request to the socket. What is really a request? That's another very interesting question that we try to answer. Because a request is not a single byte or three bytes or five bytes. It's a collection of bytes with a clear boundary. What is that boundary? What does it mean when we have a proxy in the middle? So writing the request from the client and the back end reading that request from the kernel's receive buffer down to the application uh, memory, there is cost there. And when you once you read that, you parse the request and then you process it, and that's another cost to process it, whether you're querying the database or doing some CPU bound stuff. There is so much there just at that level. You know, and then there is once you finish the response, the building the response, you have the response. Now you're writing the response down. So there is CPU processing at the back end, and then there is writing to the ser server socket down to the client we try to cover all these you know pages and we're still in tier one analysis we take that and we zoom out and out and out actually we zoom in to give more verbose details there's the, the second level of analysis instead of using tier one which is postman or or uh, either uh, diff tools we use something else which is man in the middle proxy fiddler charlie tools that act like a debugging proxy where we intercept the traffic between the client and the backend between the load balancer and the backend between the api gateway and the backend right between the backend and the database right some proxies don't support uh, that level of protocol but that also can happen as well right and then you do the same thing there with a little bit more details and and then finally i go deeper and deeper at the Basically, you can't go any deeper than that. The packet level details where we use Wireshark or TCP DUM to look at the packet by packet. And boy, there's so much beauty there. There's so much, uh, you know, level of details that I absolutely adore when I look at that and I appreciate all of this stuff, you know. And when you send a single request, you see that request turns into five packets or 10 or if their cost is large, 20, 30, 40 packets. Do all the 40 packets make it to the backend? Or 
do we have to wait for acknowledgement? This where congestion control kicks in, which of course I don't go into details. That's where my networking course and the backend course is for, right? That's the fundamentals. But but man, there's so much there. And in all these three tiers analysis, I use a, a specifically crafted web server written in C. So I wrote the application in C. And the reason I used C as a language, and you don't have to learn to know C for to, to take this course. It's just I use the language because it's a low level language. It used to be called high level. It's not anymore. Let's just be honest. Like C is is a very close to uh, the metal as it is, right? Because uh, this days C gives you everything. It's a very, you know, I wouldn't call it low level. Low level is assembly, but but it, it gives you like there is a call to read uh, to read the socket. There is a call to write to the socket. There is a call to accept a connection. The, you never see the, seen these calls in, in, in Node.js or Python or other languages. It's hidden from you. And I don't want them to be hidden. I want complete visibility when it comes to these things. And when, when we look at that level, you can pause and prevent the application from accepting a connection. You can prevent the application from reading from the socket. It becomes so much interesting. So we're going to use that app. And then finally, at the end of the course, we take that knowledge and we actually put them to practice. So I built up around four examples of real life scenarios that happened personally to me during my 20 years of experience, right? Where the problem, the bottleneck is, could be at the client side. The first example where the problem is at the client side, we, ha we know how to fix it and we know how to identify and, fi and fix it. Then I will give another example where the problem is at the back end, right? Where there is a problem there exactly how we're going to identify that bottleneck and fix it. The third example, we we're going to put the, it gets more complicated where we're going to use a load balancer where one of the backend is good, but the other backend is bad. Let's say you have one version and you, uh, you upgraded the second version, but the old backend is still on the first version. You would see the application, you refresh the page, it's fast, you refresh it again, it's slow, and you refresh it again, it's fast. You would see the round robin behavior. And we, again, we use the three, three tier analysis to go through all of these layers, right? And, and identify exactly where the problem. And finally, the example four, and of course, uh, if if it's not the client, if it's not the load balancer, if it's not the backend, it could be the database. So you follow all the way, all the way to the back, to the to the database where the problem could be. And uh, basically that will, uh, that will end the course. It's a, a course to the, uh, the shorter side. I recommend uh, being at least building some backend application, having some familiar with load balancers and having some familiarity with basic programming to take this course, of course. Uh, it's for front-end engineer and backend engineer. It's, it's designed for backend and full stack engineers to be specific. But uh, I really hope you enjoy it. Hope you give it a chance. Head to performance.hosseinnasser.com to get a discount coupon or just use the word performance as a coupon. It's a limited five day perform uh, it's a limited five day code, but you always go to the performance.hosseinnasser.com, which will redirect you to the latest coupon all the time. I hope you give this course a chance. I hope you enjoy it if you do. And thank you so much. And gonna see you in the next one. Goodbye.